default logic, right? So you can see in the dependency network how the default logic applies, right? The suspect is our supported belief that goes at the top. This goes into our end list, right? The fact that he's a beneficiary because this concept supports the idea that he's a suspect. Similarly, in our dependency network, the fact that he's a beneficiary goes in our end list to support our main belief. The fact that um, um, he has no alibi, I mean, obviously, adds to the belief that he is a suspect, right? So it's like a, a twofold uh, system, right? You don't have an alibi. All of these reasons support the belief that Abbott is a murder suspect. I think that I think that should be clear. Okay. So constructing uh, page sixteen, right underneath the, the the image that I just drew, constructing evidence based um, justification based truth maintenance system dependency networks. Sort of well, mouthful. Okay. First bullet point. If Abbott has no alibi and is the beneficiary, then the following is true. And I've already put it up here. Beneficiary, um, if it's provable that X is the beneficiary and it is consistent to assume that X has no alibi, then X is our suspect. Right? Assertions in the justification-based truth maintenance system dependency network are believed, right? Not true. They are believed. This is a system of supporting and justifying belief, not truth. Right, I'll say that again. This dependency network that we're constructing is a system of justifying and supporting belief. We're not talking about truth, right? When they have a valid justification, and the question is, how is a justification valid? This is just part of sort of just memorize this, right? A justification is valid if, and this is very simple, every assertion in the in list is believed, and none of the out list. Is right. every assertion in the in list is believed, and none of the assertions in the out list is right. We don't believe that he has an alibi. Right? We don't believe that he has an alibi because we checked the registry. Let's say, for example, in the Albany Hotel, and there's no his name's not there. And we talked to all of his friends, and none of them said that they saw him that day. So he it puts him possibly at the scene of the crime, right? Um, compounded with the fact that we do believe, or we know for certain, that he is in a position to gain from the death of another person. Okay? Sort of simple. Now, um, this this image, um, and I, I think I put a foot, you might not be able to see it, but there's a little number 9 to the side of, uh, on page 16, the first image, there's a number 9, and this image and the supporting sort of explanation comes directly out of the text. Right? So, if you guys end up getting the book, um, you'll see exactly this image and almost the same explanation. What I wanted to do was to add something obviously that wasn't in the text itself because I'm not here to just sort of regurgitate what's in the text. I wanted to show you that, and, and, and this is important, right, that if our supported belief doesn't begin, now this part's not in the text, but it's, it's me demonstrating a means of applying this. If our supported belief isn't that he's a suspect, Abbott is a suspect. The question is, how would we construct um, a justification-based truth maintenance system, right? With a within the context of a dependency network, how would we construct a justification-based truth maintenance system in a dependency network with the assumption that Abbott is not the primary suspect? Okay. So, um, actually what I should have done is I should have put the, the fault logic first uh, and then I might flip it. Um, by the time you get it. But let's do the default logic first. So we'll skip the, the image and we'll go to the default logic first, right? So let's assume that we want, and I'll just erase some of these, right? We want to keep the overall structure, but we want to erase, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. So let's look at the structure. Um, how would we represent a belief that Abbott is not the murder, um, the murder suspect? Just think, without even trying to focus on the logic, right? How would he be the murder suspect if what we have are alibi, suspect, and beneficiary? Well, you wouldn't be the suspect. It's critical thinking, right? Think about this, right? So, and this shouldn't be too hard. It's a little hard, but it shouldn't be too hard. 
you wouldn't be the suspect if you had an alibi. Right? So if you have an alibi, you wouldn't be a suspect. Okay, that's simple. Now we just have a beneficiary to think about. Well, you wouldn't be an alibi. You wouldn't be a suspect if, I'm not wording it logically proper, but I'm, just to work with you so that you understand sort of conceptually, then we could do the logic after. You wouldn't be an alibi. You wouldn't be a suspect if you had an alibi and you weren't the beneficiary. Okay, so, you know, Bob Millionaire has a daughter. Um, he dies. She serves to gain. I don't know Bob or the daughter. They're not going to use me as a suspect. I don't have anything to gain because I'm not getting any of that money when he dies, right? So I'm not a beneficiary and I have an alibi. I was, you know, I was at the game and people were filming me. They saw me at the game. Okay, I'm not a suspect. So if you really think about it, it's really easy to think about how sort of a detective might think. Why is this person not a suspect? So you can imagine he or she goes to um, her superior and they say, why isn't Abbott a suspect? And you say, oh, well, you know, Abbott has a really solid alibi. We went to Albany and we saw um, Abbott's signature time stamped in the notes at the front desk. So um, Abbott has a great alibi. Also, Abbott's not a beneficiary, right? Abbott doesn't seem, Abbott's not going to get any of the money from the inheritance from the death of the victim. So the, it can't be an alibi. I mean, can't be a suspect. That's how we represent it, right? It's, it's pretty simple. What I like to do is I like to start with the, I like to start with the supported belief first. So this is, this is probably not how most logicians construct it, but this is how I construct it, right? Because it just logically makes sense. Our supported belief, and I need to cap it when I'm talking. Our supported belief, our supported belief is that we are going to assume that Abbott is not the murder suspect, right? So we'll say, um, for all X, X is not the murder suspect, meaning Abbott, right? Not the suspect, right? If what? Well, we know we're going to need that, right? If there's an alibi, right? If X has an alibi, if X has an alibi and X is not the beneficiary, right? So this is the representation, right? This is different from the other one. The individual X, Abbott, is not going to be a suspect when what situation occurs? Well, if it is provable that X has an alibi and it is consistent to assume that X is not the beneficiary of some inheritance, then we have to conclude that X is not the suspect, right? So as we did before, we recognize that our supported belief in the bottom is going to go here. So our supported belief would be that X is not uh, suspect. How did I word it on this? I put uh, Abbott not suspect, but same thing, right? Abbott is not the suspect. What goes in our in list, right? As we saw before, in our in list, what supports the fact that X is not, Abbott specifically is not? Well, there is an alibi. There is an alibi, an affirmation, right? There is an alibi. So A L I B I. What goes in our out list? He is not, right? He is not the beneficiary. <coughs> right? So we can see that it's, it's a bit different from the first one. In the first one, we have beneficiary. When we thought that he was a suspect, we have beneficiary in our in and, and, <coughs> and alibi in our out. When we think that he is, the uh, is not the suspect, we have our alibi in our in and beneficiary in our out. The way that it's represented, in default logic, and uh, th that's what I wanted to show, right? That there is an undeniable, um, sort of inextricable, uh, biconditional relationship between the, the dependency network of um, a truth, uh, a justification based truth maintenance system, right? There, there is an undeniable relationship between uh, the dependency network of a justification based truth maintenance system and the corresponding default logic. Right? The default logic and the um, JTMS are interchangeable. Here's where my um, supported belief is. Here's my supported belief. Here's my um, in list. Here's my out list, which justifies the supported belief. See, now, this example is, well, and, and then I go to explain how this is read, right? Um, if, it is, if it is provable that X has an alibi, 
I, if I just prove 